A Pocatello woman lost her cat, but it was found two days later nearly 900 miles away. Local News 8's Sam Ross has the wild story. Nikki Banks, a therapist in Pocatello, said that her cat Ray went missing the morning of Sunday, July 21st after being let out in the yard to play. I let them out for about an hour each morning. And this particular morning I was trying to be nice <laughs> and I let them out a little longer. And I went to call Ray, I just shake the little treat bag, and she wasn't coming back. After searching her neighborhood and the nearby foothills, Banks said Ray was nowhere to be found. Four days later, on Thursday, July 25th, Banks got a call from Animal Friends of the Valleys, a shelter that she didn't recognize. She starts giving me directions and I'm like, I have no idea where that is. The shelter is in Wildemar, California, 850 miles from Pocatello. Ray had been found the night before near some storage units in a neighboring town. The shelter accessed Banks' contact information through Ray's microchip. I found out that where the cat was, that the cat was located in Idaho. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's microchipped to Idaho. So I started calling and emailing. Next thing you know, I get a call from Nikki saying, that's my cat. Castle believes Ray snuck into a neighbor's moving van as they were packing their things on Sunday and then made the two-day trip to California. Both Banks and Castle say that Ray's story is a testament to the importance of getting your pets fitted with a microchip. I mean, she would have never found that cat if it wasn't microchipped because it would have been here and we wouldn't have been able to follow up with anything. The only way they would have found is my information is because she's chipped. You can microchip your pets for exactly this reason. They say cats have nine lives, so you may never know if yours has a second one in another state. In Pocatello, Sam Ross, Local News 8. Ray will catch a flight with friends to Salt Lake City and be reunited there with her owner. Ray will then be home safe and sound in Idaho by Saturday.